Hey guys, um, all you students and parents at home, I just wanted to record this little vlog to give you a bit of motivation to stay safe and sane at home during this quarantine time, but to be able to keep up your education at the same time. I'm like super proud of you all for staying calm, doing the whole social distancing thing, staying inside and away from others. But I know that it gets hard to motivate yourself to do your schoolwork and to keep engaging yourself with intellectually stimulating activities. One way you can pass some time and contribute to your education now is reading. <laughs> Um, but since libraries are closed and you might not have the books you want to read while you're at home, I wanted to give you a list of totally free books you can get online and read on your phone or your laptop or your tablet anytime. So I'm going to tell you about five free books and I will link you to the free books and audiobooks below. So the first book I want to talk about is The Call of the Wild by Jack London. It was written um, about a hundred years ago, but it's about, it's kind of interesting because it's through the eyes. It's an adventure story told through the eyes of a dog, like a sweet young dog um, named Buck, who then is sold to be a sled dog in Alaska. Um, and he's living through this cold and treacherous wilderness and he's having to interact with like harsh, harsh humans and um, combative other dogs. There's like an enemy, he has like an enemy as a dog. Um, and he's had to figure out how to become like a leader of the pack to survive. Um, this book is uh, at an early high school level, I would say. So um, ninth graders, maybe some advanced middle schoolers. And what I would say is that if you liked Hatchet by Gary Paulson or Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls, and many of those people had to, many people had to read those books in middle school. Um, this is like the grittier and more mature version of those books. Um, it's still a great story. It's really moving. It's great if you like dogs um, and it's very emotional. Um, but you should be warned that there are some violent parts to the book and that it can be really like sort of devastating for people who care a lot about animals. So like I said, it's a grittier, it's a more mature book, but it's a great pick for any high schooler and for many advanced middle schoolers as well. So the next one I want to tell you about is one of my personal favorites called Emma by Jane Austen. Um, so one thing people don't always know about Emma is that the iconic fan favorite film Clueless with Alicia Silverstone and Paul Rudd and Brittany Murphy, I mean, Brittany Murphy, God rest her soul, um, was based on the story of Emma and, um, but like turned into a 90s amazing film. So now there's also this brand new movie adaptation of the story and um, featuring a bunch of really cool up and coming film stars like Anya Taylor Joy, who's um, what you might know from the horror film The Witches, and um, Callum Turner, who you might know from Fantastic Beasts. Um, it's been adapted so many times because it's just a truly fun story and it's very funny. Um, but seeing as how you probably shouldn't head to the theaters right now, if you're looking for something to read, you should try this out. So um, to give you a bit of a summary, Emma is a very wealthy girl who lives with her widower father um, in a small town and she sticks her nose in literally everyone's business, like trying to play matchmaker, stirring up lots of drama, trying to make sure that all her friends know how like great and noble she is. She's kind of the ultimate popular girl, trying to control all these little aspects of her world. and. Of course, she'll never be able to actually control everything and like love is notoriously difficult to control. So you should read it and find out how it definitely all falls apart for her and then maybe comes back together. It's very, it's a great, it's a great book. Um, so the level of this is probably like uh, late middle school to early high school. I would say somewhere between like eighth grade and like 10th grade. Um, it is 
a really fun novel if you liked Clueless or if you liked if you liked like teen drama shows um, you'll find something to enjoy in this and in addition to the text of the book and the audiobook below I'm gonna link a podcast uh, pop culture happy hour where they're talking about uh, Clueless, the original sort of um, remake of Emma and the new Emma movie um, and sort of comparing them and deciding how well each of them turned out. And I mean, spoiler, everyone loves Clueless. Absolutely everyone loves Clueless. So next I want to talk about Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, I actually have a copy here because it's one of my favorites. Um, so this is kind of a scary novel, kind of gothic, but it was one of the first, I mean it was the first sci-fi novel ever written, um, basically. It's about a young scientist named Dr. Frankenstein who's really interested in weird new alchemy types of science, um, including this thing that was really popular in the early 19th century called galvanism, which was the idea that you could, with electricity, um, make things come to life. So he created this like ultimate man using flesh from various corpses. I mean, it's super gross and it's totally like fascinating. And he reanimates his monster um, using electricity. And so that's how his monster turns out to be like, a, like reanimated, like sentient and sort of like a, like a person. Um, but he's like grotesque and uh, gigantic and super scary. So um, even though the monster really wants to live in harmony with humans and find friends and family, but humans find him so repulsive and they want to kill him that he has to like escape into the wilderness. So this is um, honestly like one of my favorite stories of all time, in part because it is so relatable to all these real scientific sort of stories we see now um, about things like art artificial intelligence and genetic engineering. And it's also a story you see replicated in a lot of modern movies and stuff like Terminator and um, even Abominable, like the cute little Disney Pixar movie, um, or like Sharktopus is basically a Frankenstein type movie. Um, so this, this story was the original and I love it. Um, the level for this book is a little bit higher. I would say mid to late high school. So a strong reader in 10th grade could handle it easily. Um, a 12th grader should be able to handle it pretty well, somewhere in that range. Um, if you like scary stories, gothic stories, sci-fi, sciencey stuff, you're gonna find something that you love in this book. Um, it's also interesting because it was written by a 19 year old woman, Mary Shelley. Um, so it's got kind of a young adult vibe to it sometimes, um, like a touch of romance, a touch of drama. It, it's truly just a wonderful tale. So finally, I wanna mention two books that you could read with younger siblings or cousins or as a family all together. Um, and they're also great books in their own right. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. So um, there's a movie out about Little Women now, which would be kind of a fun way to motivate your, your little siblings or cousins or whatever to read with you because at the end they can watch this cute little movie. Um, so this is the playful and joyous and sometimes sad story of a family of four young girls each with their own unique and interesting personality. And it's about how they grow up and how they deal with difficulties and making decisions and some of the like ridiculous things that happen to them. Um, it's also really funny and heartwarming and it's easy to love and relate to the characters, um, especially for young girls, um, but for everyone as well. It's just a really relatable human story. So the, the level of this book is um, probably in the early middle school range, but I would say that it's great for reading to elementary schoolers because if there's anything they don't really get, you can stop and explain it to them. Um, and you're, if you are a high schooler or like an advanced reader, you'll, you'll be fine ex like reading it and understanding it and explaining it to them. Um, this is a really great 
for reading to kids between, I would say, first grade and fourth grade. Um, and each chapter can be read out loud in about 15 to 20 minutes. So they're perfect bite-sized chunks for kids who tend to get distracted easily. Um, and if you're stuck at home trying to help with the young ones in your house and stay, trying to keep them occupied for most of the day, try reading a chapter or two of Little Women every day. Um, you'll finish the book pretty quickly and their teachers will be really impressed that they finished a chapter book at home. So that's additionally good for them. And finally, I want to mention a book that's great if you are looking after or helping with some of the real young kids in your house. Um, so this story collection, The Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm, um, is chock full of stories that you're probably familiar with but you might not have read yet, like Snow White, uh, Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, Cinderella, um, Little Red Riding Hood, but it also has plenty of fairy, fairy tales that are less famous, so you won't be reading all the same stories you already know. Um, it's a great set of stories to read to preschoolers, kindergartners, maybe even first or second graders. Um, they're also great stories to ask kids to read to you, which is really good for practicing their reading skills. So you can help them with the harder words. Most of the stories are only gonna take five to 10 minutes to read, and they're all exciting or tragic or joyous. They're, they're, every range of emotions will come out of these stories. So kids really love them. Um, and it's, it's motivational for kids to read at home with their cool older brother or their cool older cousin. Um, it gets them in the habit of picking up books, which we know improves their lives later on. Plus, it's a really nice way to spend time together and to entertain yourselves. So the level of these books is in the like late elementary school level. So if you have a first or second grader who's reading at a really advanced level, they will be able to read these books no problem. Um, but if you wanna help them out, maybe you can alternate paragraphs or you can read it to them. So that's it. That's my five free online books that you can read online totally for free or you can listen to the books and the audiobooks are linked below. So happy reading. I hope you guys are um, staying safe and sane and having fun. Um, I know it's not always easy, but FaceTime your friends. Don't go hang out with them. Keep each other safe, keep each other's families safe, and I look forward to seeing you soon. The cat on the scratching post. Do you see her? She's so noisy. Meow. 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 <laughs> this is my cat. She likes to sit on my lap while I work. She's not helpful.